also we had the likes of the president of the republic of trinidad and tobago and his wife right we had ministers like Anna roberts and ram logan and thing like that you trying to tell me this is the kind of show that could put on for these ministers namely the president and then want me to wait for you to leave the building and so i could come outside i want to run outside jump out but i don't know what that show was all about getting on to the action now then go look to tell me what i found out through very real reliable sources that the judges when they do the tally and say all right they're still looking like she had thing and whatever when they finished off with the tallies from what i understand is that the official results that they put forward were not the true representation of who were announced can you believe that can you believe that fraud that the results that the tally up were not what was read and it have people walking and we're looking official i think with jacket and thing going and picking up paper picking up paper and going and giving to tally in. You know who taking so much man that they can't read who have higher points than who? You know who taking too much man. But it was a fraud because the names that the, the, the tallies of the various girls who was really supposed to be in the top five did not, some of them was not called in the top five. And them just create up their own five and bam, announce Miss World. Can you all believe that? And you want to tell me how last year or year before when they was running Miss Universe, they didn't have proper funding, right? They didn't have proper funding. And as a result, they did not send up a delegate. And they want to beat up Minister and beat up this one because they find they're not supporting Trinidad's own. They have a right not to because these shows are, are not fair at all. And you're trying to tell me $250. I bathe up myself, brush up my teeth and put on clothes, put on poof, few man thing and go up the road from San Fernando quite up in Queens. So for this waste of money, for this waste of money, I really cannot believe the shambles, the, how they have this show, the mistakes these, these announcers making and the complete fraud that was rumbling right under the whole presentation of the show and the results. And it is very, very unfair. That they should send someone, right, who doesn't deserve to be representing the country. And most importantly, it is very wrong, right, for the franchise holder and people who is in charge of the show, who apparently franchise holder is Michael Ragunanan. It is very, very wrong, whether he's aware of this or not, as whether aware of of the bid rigging that was going on or not it is very unfair for him to sit down and accept the fact that the other girls it tends on how much 16 or 20 something of them could be in a show sweating bagging clothes walking out in the gym right paying money to go up the road up and down whoever live in sando whoever live in penal in back a day library or who to pay all that money and put out all that effort so with the with the right intention to represent the country and make the country proud and be cheated, I find that is very, very unfair. I don't find that is right. If you find that is right, something wrong with you. And worse yet, to know that is the bid rigging going on, the fraud, and how they had all of these specially invited guests and ministers to come and look at a show like this and that is the nastiness them doing in a show like this that is the nastiness they're doing in a show like this this boy who so, who got the two prizes jeffrey charles who left the show he he right he is very very right i would have packed up clothes and run out of there and catch him first box maxi box scat bicycle out of the queen's hall and right straight back home because you see, this nonsense, I would have never ever stay for this dotishness. This is what you call foolishness. 
and it cannot be tolerated and people hush hushing it had no media personality they're covering the story to say okay ma'am you now come up on the show how was your how your final show was your final was here nobody like that right nobody like that and my mother was sitting down next to a lady who apparently is a relative of one of the the, the, the female delegates and he miss world and she rightfully said that the beautiful girls now i mean it had beautiful girls in the show among the, the one of them who need to eat kfc beautiful beautiful girls who push shy away from the shows right they they very well know what's going on because these things are not fair at all this is not fair and it is very very wrong that people committing time and all kind of things for a show like this when this is a nonsense and fraud that going on in Queen Saul in Little Trinidad. If best them go and shoot and kill somebody, it dies what them doing to, to people who have good intentions. That is what them doing. So in a nutshell, that is really what this episode is really all about. It wasn't one of those to laugh. It was really for you to think. Yeah, I guess you might have got some laughter. It's really for you to think as to what really going on in some of these shows. This is what you call a white collar crime. All you hear about pan, they do this and man, they do that. Watch these criminals. Watch these criminals. They walking among other people, and that is what them doing. And what they have in the head, they start their chambers they're sending she up. When it has so much other good girls in in this show, I don't want to say no favoritism as who I think should be the person, but it is very wrong what they did. This needs to be done over. Or oh, either they see that girl, Davia Chambers, who going away, and the other boy you win. As far as I'm concerned, the government shouldn't give them a cent because as far as I am concerned, they may be just going for the plane ride and to see China. Not on my tax dollars. Not on my tax dollars. So, that's about it. You need to speak up. When you see things like this going on, you can't be hush hush about it because you're part of the whole thing if you keep your trap closed. And as a person, I find that very hard to do. I like to talk. So, that's about it. Make sure you listen out and before. Your, your, your voice, your opinion on radio and things like that and say that you find this deal is a sour loser and that you must shut your ass because you, you was not there so you don't know what happened and how much these girls and boys work to, 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 to come out in a show like this and wanting to represent the country and to be cheated and pulled down like this this is beauty with a purpose this is beauty with a purpose. This is what they want to influence my daughter and my female cousin. Well, even did I miss that world now? So are my brothers. And this and that. This is what they want to influence people to go and participate in. Yes, it's best them go and dig drain and thing. It's best them go and dig drain and give money to charity. And don't bother to go anyway in any part of the world to go and represent the country. Because this is very, very unfair. Show was a waste of time, music problems. MC stoop sin and think and they believe that or they should have paid what well, if I well or they should not have paid the 250 dollars to go and see that or they should have stayed on right in all the house and watch from the TV and if current go thank you Jesus that you had to that you, you know yeah you, you had to miss something that was so dotish trying to tell me the judges and entire and it's very um well recognized people Gisela run where somebody who went away and bring back the crown watch how them look at look at them totally compromising these people and them um judgment nonsense so comment i would love to hear your feedback don't forget to share subscribe and whatever looking forward to your feedback so basically that's about it there enjoy your day yeah. all i do is win 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 no matter what got money on my mind and every time I step up in the building, everybody hands go up, and they stay there.